Discord verification systems are one of the most popular features that you'll see set up in a lot of Discord servers. There's a lot of different ways to do it. One of the most popular ways that you've probably seen in a lot of servers is a reaction style system where the bot has a message, it's got a check mark reaction button and you have to click that reaction and then you will get added a role which will grant you access to the server. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a new verification bot and how to set it up, but it offers way more than just a simple click a button and get at, get verified that way. The biggest thing that I love about this bot and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up today is email verification. A lot of you guys, if you have your own business or whatever and you're utilizing your Discord server in conjunction with your business, you might wanna create an email list for everyone that joins your server. They have to submit and verify their email and then you want to be able to export all of those emails to a spreadsheet and be able to use that data to build an email list. The bot is called AuthGG and they have seven different ways that you can verify members in your Discord server, one of which being the email verification that I mentioned. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into my test server where I already set up some examples that I'm gonna show you guys. And then I'm gonna walk you through how to set some of these up yourselves. If you do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future content. We're getting really close to 50,000 subs. It'll be really cool to hit that before the end of the year. So let's jump into my test server where I already set up some of these different ones. So we have an email verification system here. We have a simple button verification where all you have to do is click a button. And then we have a captcha verification. So firstly, let me show you guys how the email verification works. So we set up an embedded message already and we're gonna click the button to start email verification. It's going to prompt us to read the rules of the server. These are default rules that are already set up with the bot. You can customize this to fine tune it to fit your server more. We're going to click continue and then it's going to ask us to enter our email. So I'm going to come in here and go ahead and enter my email in. Once the user's entered in their email, they're going to get prompted to check their inbox for an email from AuthGG with their verification code that they're then going to enter here. So I'm going to go over to my email, grab that real quick, and then we'll come back. So I've got my verification code now. So we're going to click enter code. And then we're going to paste in our verification code. We're going to click submit. And we have now gained what I set up to be the member role. So we can now access the entirety of the server. So that's how the whole system works. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up in just a second. Next up, we have the button verification. You guys have likely seen this in a lot of different servers. It's a super simple, easy to use system. You simply click the button. You're going to click continue to agree to the rules. And it's going to add the member role to your account, thus verifying you and giving you access to the server. And then the last one I set up for an example is the CAPTCHA verification. So you're gonna click start verification here. You're gonna to continue to agree to the rules again. And it's going to give you a, a CAPTCHA that you have to solve here. So you have three different options. It's gonna be the second option here. Once you select the correct one, you're gonna get verified and get access to the server. So pretty cool, right? Well, let me show you guys how to actually set that up. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the email verification system set up. And the other ones pretty much follow the exact same flow. So this bot actually does not have a dashboard that you go to your browser and set stuff up on the dashboard. Everything is done directly through your server with commands. So we're going to come in here, we're gonna type slash and we're going to do set up email verification. You're gonna select the verification channel. So that's gonna be the channel that you want the embedded uh, verification message to be so we're going to do this new email test channel that I created you're then going to be prompted to select the verified role the role that we're going to be giving out is the member role and then you're going to set out the content of the embedded message so first we have the embed title so we will just do email verification and then moving over next we have the description so this is basically what I typed out right here if we can scroll up to the top basically this is the description so it's the body message of the embed okay so I just typed up the body of my embed you're welcome to customize this however you want I just said to gain access to the discord server you're required to submit and verify your email address yada 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 so the last piece of required information information you have to set up is a log channel. I already set up this verification logs channel here. It's basically just going to be a place that anytime someone successfully completes verification, it will send a message here letting you know. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna select that verifications log channel and that's gonna be that. If you want to add any extra information to the embedded message, like a footer for the embed, a thumbnail for the embed, or if you wanna give out more than one role, you can select those options here and set them up. I'm not gonna select any of these. We're just going to press the enter button. It's gonna send the command and it's going to set up our new email verification panel. Now you're probably wondering with this email verification system, how do you get access to all of the data, AKA all of the emails that people have submitted and verified? So what we'll do is we'll use this command config email verification. We'll press enter and we're going to export a list of collected emails. And you can choose a lot of different options. You can do the past seven days, 
past 14 days, past 30 days, or all emails that have ever been submitted. And give it a second. Once you do that, it'll give you a link to download the CSV file that is created. So the button verification and the capture, and really any of the uh, verification methods, they're all gonna be set up the exact same way. You're just gonna type in slash setup, and you'll be able to pick any of these options here. So if you wanted to do the button verification, you click that and it's the exact same process here. You're gonna enter all the same information, the channel you want, the role you want to give out, the embedded information, the log, all that stuff. This is editor Jake cutting in. Something I forgot to mention in the video is that when you're setting this stuff up to give out the member role, when you actually want the, for the verification system to actually work, you want to set the server up so all of your channels are locked behind that role. Easiest way to do that is do it by the category. You right click the category, go to edit category, you come up to permissions, you're gonna set it up as a private category and then you can add a role to it. In this case, we would add the member role. You would click done, you would save your changes and then you are going to have, you're gonna notice all of these now have locks on them. They are now locked behind the member role. Just make sure that you keep your actual verification channels open to everyone. So in this case, I would need to come in here for this specific email verification channel. I would need to not make that a private channel because I don't want that one to be locked. Otherwise people won't be able to do the verification because they, they can't get the member role without doing the verification. So I just thought I should throw that in really quick. You guys probably may have already knew that, but for those that might have not, that's how you're gonna want to set the server up is you're gonna wanna lock all your channels behind that member role, except your verification channels. And that is AuthGG and how to set up a few of their different verification systems, mainly the email verification, because I think that is a really cool feature that a lot of people can utilize and doesn't really exist out there with really any other bots. It is important to know though, with the free version of the bot, you're not going to be able to fully utilize the email verification method. You do only get 20 email tokens each month. So that means you're only gonna be able to accept up to 20 emails every month with the free version. If you do upgrade to the premium, which is $7 per month, that's US dollars, you do get unlimited email tokens on top of all this other, um, all these other cool perks. So I just wanted to mention this because I thought it was pretty important for those of you guys that have larger servers and are going to set up this email verification system, you probably are gonna to want to upgrade to the premium version of the bot to be able to not run into an issue where you have members who can't verify their email because you've ran out of tokens. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. You can also join my Discord server. It's linked in the description or in the pinned comment. And you can, I have a Discord, dedicated Discord help channel over there. You can join up, ask any Discord questions you want, and me or another member of the community will try to help you out. And lastly, if you're the type of person who doesn't really care to set this stuff up yourself or take the time to learn it, and you'd rather have someone set it up for you, although I'm not really sure why you would have watched till the end of the video if that was the case, but if that is the case, um, you can reach out to me over on my Fiverr. Uh, I offer a service over there where I can set up any type of Discord server you want. I've set up over 500 different servers already just through Fiverr in the last couple years. So I'm sure whatever your needs are, I can get you a server created that'll fit. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.